back the Skiffy Trieste 2. Trieste the second, DSV-1, was the successor to Trieste, the United States Navy's first bathyscaphy purchased from its Swiss designers. The original Trieste design was heavily modified by the Naval Electronics Laboratory in San Diego, California and built at the Mare Island Naval Shipyard. Trieste II incorporated the original turning Italian built sphere used in Trieste after it was made redundant by the new high pressure sphere cast by the German Krupp Steelworks. The Trieste sphere was suspended from an entirely new float, more seaworthy and streamlined than the original, but operating on identical principles. Completed in early 1964, Trieste II was shipped, via the Panama Canal, to Boston. It is a deep submergence type vehicle with a displacement of 46 long tons and a length of 67 feet and beam of 15 feet with draft 12 feet 5 inch and the tested deck is 20,000 feet. Between September 1965 and May 1966, Trieste II underwent extensive modification and conversion on Mare Island Naval Shipyard, but there is no clear record that she was ever operated in that new configuration. During the same time period work was underway on the third configuration of the bathyscaphy. This work resulted in yet a new appearance for the Trieste II, and included the installation of a new pressure sphere, designed for operation to 20,000 feet, 6,100 m. Trieste II apostrophe's valuable experience in deep submergence operations has helped in the design and construction of other deep diving submersibles which could be used in rescuing crews and recovering objects from submarines in distress below levels reachable by conventional methods. The Trieste class DSV were replaced by the Alvin class DSV, as exemplified by the famous Alvin DSV-2. Trieste II is now preserved as a museum ship at the Naval Undersea Museum, Kipport, Washington. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more videos.